think when you drive a cab every day, you do come to realize you're like an affordable therapist for a lot of the people who get into your cab. You know, there's this confessional vibe because they know they're never gonna see you again. So they give you all their conspiracy theories, pork chop recipes, you just have to take it. I had a woman after Obama became president who told me the president was in Al Qaeda, but she was like serious. Like she got into my cab at the Penn Station cab line, Eighth Avenue, heading north the day after Obama won the election against John McCain. A woman gets into my cab, she goes, you know the president's in Al Qaeda, right? And I was like, ma'am, I drive a taxi in New York City. I know most of Al Qaeda. Pretty sure he's not in it. They would have told me. They love me. I'm like their only white friend. Welcome back, party people. My next guest is far too classy for this program, but like Garth Brooks, she has friends in low places. <laughs> Joining me now to prove it, the host of the story right here on the Fox News Channel, one half of our Democracy 2024 election Hello. night coverage. Hi. I am talking about the bell of the cable news blue, Ooh, the incomparable Martha McCallum is here to those wild Martha. <laughs> Great to see Jimmy. you. I hope you like the intro. I read it exactly I the way you it. emailed it to me. <laughs> <laughs> and Make you. sure you say I am way too classy to be on your show. <laughs> oh, <wait, laughs> believe me. Everyone else was saying it at home, so I just had to echo <laughs> oh, their sentiments. My goodness. But you are now off the meter. So excited to be here. Oh, this is a big deal. And I love you your this. show, and congratulations on your show. It matters. And, um, you know, I'm a huge fan. All right, so that, what can I say? Come on, I'm you excited excited well up. You're going to make my makeup I'm wrong. I'm excited right, to be here. Let me hold it together, okay? <laughs> Every question we ask you is, like, not related to anything we do here at Fox. It's off the grid, you know, off the meter. Who was your first celebrity crush as a kid? Um, I'm going to go with Michael Jackson. Really? <laughs> Boy, it, you know, it's I always do. a long shot when you I fall in love with a celebrity, <laughs> but in your case. You know what? I was a big fan of the Jackson 5. Me and too. His brothers, and they would do this dancing, and, uh -huh. he, you know, he sang all these great, like, yeah, love songs. Yeah, of course, songs, I loved him. Loved him. Yeah. So the uh, old version. Yeah, the, the, old the OG version. Michael. The old version. But, it, but isn't it crazy? Almost unrecognizable yeah. in the later version, but he was so cute. He, he had was this the man. adorable face, and I was in love with him. But it, the most shocking part, looking back on the Thriller video, is that he had a girlfriend. It's like not the werewolf part, but yeah. anyway, oh, I know. very good. Okay. <laughs> In a more innocent time. Yeah, it was <laughs> a better time. America. Let's just put it that way. Spring break is here. Yeah. Did Martha McCallum have a go-to drink in college? Um. Yes, I liked um, a Cape Codder, which is cranberry juice and vodka, you was did. one of my favorite drinks. But I was never allowed to go anywhere for spring break, okay. basically. And uh -huh. the only time I went away once was to like my friend had this apartment post college in Vail, and like six of us right. crashed on the floor in her very small apartment. All right, it's not nothing though. That's yeah, a, it's not nothing. It was the one time. But does that mean you didn't have a fake ID, or did Martha? I have did a have a fake ID. Yeah, you did, Martha <laughs> yeah, McCallum. Absolutely. No, Come you on. had to have a fake ID. F family member, friend, or stranger. Oh, mine was a friend, is, my friend's sister. Is that, yeah. the, you know, you laugh? On Long yeah. Island, we went to college bars where they had nickel Alicia beer night. Alicia Mater, by the way. Is that true? There. Shout yes, out to her. Yes, exactly. Shout Thank out to you, her. Alicia. McKeebs. Yeah, McKeebs. <laughs> we went to a bar on Long Island called McKeebs that had nickel beer night. Yeah. Which sounds cheap, but you pay for it later. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear you. We used to have dollar pitcher night. Oh, there you um, go. And they were plastic Coca-Cola pitchers uh -huh. at the TikTok up in uh, Canton, New York, and they would fill them to the top with beer, and you just, like, walk around with it like it was your glass. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> way just, too expensive. It was just your thing. <laughs> no, no, dollar I pitcher night. Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Quarter pitcher night. Come uh, on. <laughs> the Ville of Maryland. It quarter was, pitcher night. It was night. large. <laughs> it got a little warm, though. That was a problem yeah. by the time. Yeah, that's what we got to learn to drink it like. Yeah, drink it quickly. Like a man. problem. Man exactly. up. Man up. Um, did you have a rival in high school? Did you have a girl who was like your rival, your enemy? I don't think I really did. I was sort of always between groups, you know? Yeah. I wasn't like in the popular group mm -hmm. and I wasn't with like the, you know, the people who hung out at the wall. Yeah, I was like the same. The cigarette pot smoker yeah, yeah, yeah. people. And mm -hmm. I was like, I had sort of friends in different groups, but yeah. I wouldn't say I had a real rival. Okay. No. I was friends with pretty much every, everybody. Like, some of the girls resented me because I had bigger boobs. And I'm like, hey, it's just, it's just, just the cost to do it. Nobody business. had that problem with me. <laughs> hey, there it is. Good job. Better 80s hair band, Def Leppard or Poison? Hmm. Ooh. I'm going to go with Def Leppard, but I have mm. to say that they were not, like, really my 80s band. Who was I liked 80s band? Joan Jett, Pat oh. Benatar. Yeah. The ladies. Yeah, wow. yeah. Love is a battlefield. Absolutely. Oh, come on. Absolutely. That matters, Martha. That matters <laughs> to me. Okay, so give me this one. Hollywood is obsessed with sequels and reboots. Mm. Which classic rom-com should never be rebooted because it's sacred? Is it Pretty Woman or Love Actually? Love Actually. Should never be rebooted. I'm not a Pretty Woman fan. I wasn't crazy about it. But I Love Actually, I like a lot. And there 
been a lot of bad love actually yeah, yeah, yeah. um you know imitation efforts spin-offs and that really that is the classic it and, is. and because it's really tragically sad in yeah. moments and also really funny in others uh -huh. and um, i love you know hugh grant it's got yeah, uh, he's great as the prime minister so. and it's got range like pretty woman in this day and age probably <laughs> will get remade as pretty person yeah. you know what i mean <laughs> they'll, they'll woke it out right. depending on what she how she sees herself. Okay, here's the big one. Okay, your election night co-anchor, the great Brett Bear. The great Brett Bear. Made major headlines on this show yeah. for his impersonation of Donald Trump. Does that require you, in the name of equal time, to do a Biden impression at some point on the air? Mm. I mean, you... I, I, would ha I think I have to. I have to work on my Biden impression. Whoa, whoa, no, but I do wear Ray Bans, so I can start with that. <laughs> That'll be like my. You know, like when you do an impression, yeah. you need a starting point with uh -huh. someone. So uh -huh. if I, I just like, put my Ray Bans on, I think I'm probably going to channel maybe Jill a little bit more <laughs> than I'll be channeling well, Joe. But I mean, I, you know, everyone well, can shuffle, well, so you can start with the shuffle. <laughs> well, I think if you get the body language down for a character that you're working on, you know, that that's your way in, right? Well, so the Ray Bans and the shuffle, I'm going to work on the voice. <laughs> Well, if you're going to channel, if you're going to channel Jill, if you're going to channel, she's going. You did it. You did it. Hey. No, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I love, like, does he not realize that every fifth sentence he says, it's not hyperbole, man. No joke. It's his favorite word. No joke. Literally, man. It is not hyperbole. Like, when he learned the definition of hyperbole, he's like, I'm just going, I'm sticking with this. I'm going to say hyperbole all the time. I am serious, Jack. This yeah. was excellent. Yeah. Give it up for Martha McCallum. Thanks for having me. Bravo. You're amazing. So You're the best. Be sure to check out Martha's full interview with Justice Kavanaugh's classmate, Mark Judge. That was interesting. It is, I bet. It's available <laughs> right now on foxnation.com. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.